Hi, folks. Here is a presentation on nematodes, the roundworm, and a lot of the information is parallel with the bishop. So, if you want to look more into that, go right ahead. Today, we will be looking at an overview of parasite species. So, we'll be looking into three different categories. The first one is the freshwater species. These parasites can be found in different areas of <laughs> fish species. So the adult and larva forms of nematode parasites can, are generally found in the lumen of the intestine. The free migratory forms are generally found in the peritoneal cavity, and the encysted forms are generally found in the mus muscles, musculature, muscle. Um, so here is an example of Eustrella jonaloid, which is commonly encysted in the muscle. Here is capillaria, which Abisha said is frequently found in FW. I think that means fresh water. I'm not totally sure. And here is Chemonalis, which is very common in guppy species. So it's those little red worms hanging out of that guppy's little anus right there. Um, bad day for that guppy. Um, so the next couple of videos will be focusing specifically on these freshwater parasite species. But um, Abisha also decided to include um, the marine species there of parasites as opposed to freshwater species. Um, and so we're just gonna give you names of them. Abisha just listed them out. I'm gonna include pictures um, because I think it helps for memory and to know what you're looking at. Um, not really gonna do much more than that. So if you wanna, it's just an overview. So if you wanna look more into it, that's all up to you. So um, in general, these marine spe uh, species of parasite nematodes um, can be found via visceral adhesion. So uh, visceral internal organs, adhesion stuck stick to stick to, so stick to internal organs. Um, WebMD defines edema, so they cause edema, edema, in which is a medical term for swelling. And WebMD also defines gran granulomas as uh, abnormal masses or nodules, which we'll see later. Um, so this is what these um, parasitic nematodes can cause. So there are four categories. So these are common. These are not all of the parasites. They're just ones that are often found is um, Ascardoidae, which includes Anakismus, here, Contrasacum, and Terra Nova. Um, the other three species um, groups are Spiruronidae, which includes Ascarophis, Midab Bronidema, um, the group of Calma, I believe it's order, maybe it's family. Calmalinodae includes Aslanus, which I cannot find a picture of, and Abisha did not include one of. And there are marine species of Calman, Calmalinus, um, which I think has our, you know, we just talked about for our little poor guppy friend. Um, and then the last group is Draconolodae, that's kind of a cool name, which includes this Philometera, I believe that is um, those little red wormies on this gonad organ here, and Philonema, so Philometra and Philonema. Um, Abisha also includes this last um group separate from marine species or freshwater species, which is elasmobranch. So what is an elasmobranch? Branch. Um, elasmobranch is a cartilaginous fish, um, which consists of the shark, skates, and rays. Yeah. So there is plenty less um, parasites found for these species. So that that's beneficial for sharks, rays, and skates, skates and rays. Um, but these are the common parasites specifically found to elasmobranch species. So they 
Um, there's really not that much information I could find uh, the public internet for it. Um, Abisha included this image in the PowerPoint, but uh, these species can assist, uh, come from the family Heterochilidae and the order Ascanididae, or the family Cuculonidae and the order Spirulidae. Um, so, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I could not find more on them. And again, this is just an overview. But here is, I think this is a granuloma. Um, and it's just like one of the side effects that it, uh, it, these, uh, sparasite species cause. So, yeah, little bumps or swollen nodules or something like that. So, yeah, if you want to look more into it, go right ahead. It's pretty interesting stuff. Next time, we're going to talk about freshwater parasites, specifically. Thanks, guys.